So I thought I might do something a little bit different from my usual posts in my blog and do a bit of a video. Um, a couple of years ago I started art journaling which was really good. I don't do much these days because I paint too much <laughs> and draw too much but um, this really got me started back creating for myself. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know, I just thought I'd show you. I use a lot of different sorts of techniques, like these are um, pastels, and then I'll use ink um, and white paint. I like gesso, it dries quicker. Um, and then, yeah, collaging. And a lot of this was, you know, stuff that I was thinking at the time. And I really love doing these little bubbles. I don't know if you can read um, what they're saying, but I found it really... Um, I don't know, kind of healing and nice. Like I'd made these little people first and they had their own little characters. And then to have them say nice things to me. <laughs> Thanks for trying and you're really funny and you're doing enough and we love you for it. I just, it was what I really needed to hear at the time. Um, and so I thought I'd give that gift to myself rather than, you know, putting that pressure on anyone else to do it. And yeah, for me, I, I recommend it. I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if anybody tries it and and to get your feedback. This one says you're really kind to people when they need when they most need it. And don't worry, we love you and know that you're just you're amazing. Just trust yourself. <laughs> Pretty cute. I love this frog. So the page is the backgrounds. Like sometimes I'll just get acrylic paint and I stripe it down the page with like an old credit card um, and you get really lovely effects with that and then on top of that with the, like this one I've gotten pastels and gone in to sort of do a slight variation so you get more of a sense of depth to the, um, the background and then these little pieces just bits of grass and moss and things in photographs that I've cut out Yeah, I like lettering. Lettering's good fun, you know, just mixing it up. <laughs> if you can read this, it says, sometimes everything is shit, but then shit makes things grow. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people's art journals are so positive, 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 and that's a good thing. However, I think it's really important to, to acknowledge what's actually going on in your life and, and just doggedly being positive, though I'm a real optimist. Um, I think, yeah, not acknowledging that darker emotions are happening as well is, is not a good thing. And this is a really safe place to express it. I love this. I had this new boss and it, it went badly, let's just say that. I've got here putting my best foot forward even when I feel like I have a chicken on my head because she just didn't get me at all and kept accusing me of all these bizarre things that my brain just doesn't do. Um, yes, yeah, so that was a, that's a very long story actually. I, I got out of there, which was a very good thing and, and she was sacked some time later because it wasn't just me, she was driving crazy. <laughs> that's that's um, along the same lines, but we won't go more into that. So yeah, just, you know, little sparkly things. All those bargain stores are fantastic for all of this kind of paraphernalia. I mean, some people are happy to spend lots of money, but I'm not. I like to um, like to just use what's around the place. These were some doily things I had, like those paper doilies, and just using them to stamp with, um, cutting out. This one's, I'm, I'm hatching a plan. So I just started going from that kind of negative space where work was really stressing me out. I just started to think, okay, what am I going to do? What what plans can I hatch here that um, will sustain me? Anyway, that might be enough for now, but just, yeah, giving people a bit of an idea of, you know, collaging, really good. Using a coloured background is really nice when you collage because it really integrates the whole image and you can really play off the background colours with the elements that you choose. I like doing these like um, quite organic 
wormy kind of backgrounds and it's really nice blending them into each other and it's surprising what you can choose from a magazine that actually works and these clouds I did um, just I just painted some copper onto a, a background with a few different hues I think I mixed in a bit of dark brown or something like that too so I've got that streaky effect again with the um, credit card and then yeah cut them into these little stenciled clouds I really like that effect too anyway I have such a long way to go <laughs> thank you